What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going ahead and doing a makeup, no makeup look. This is pretty much how I look every day, honestly, about 90% of the time. I put a little blurb about this on my Instagram, so go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and start by priming my face with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer, Coconut Water Primer. I love this stuff, it's so bomb. And I'm also going to go ahead in with my foundation. I recently read that this particular foundation, the Fit Me by Maybelline, has like every toxic known to man. So I might be throwing that away. I don't know. Let me know about down below on the bottom if you guys have heard anything about that. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend this out with my beauty blender. The reason I'm using my beauty blender is because we're going for a no makeup look but still using makeup so the beauty blender is just going to go ahead and give us a light cover without it, it just picks up any excess foundation that we may not really need so while giving us a little bit more coverage and just kind of hiding some of those imperfections it's still going to look relatively natural i'm going to go ahead and take this kind of like contouring a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to kind of buff in some additional foundation just on my flaw area so as you can see like the corners of my nose and some problem like acne problem areas and I'm just going to do this very very lightly because we don't want it to look cakey then going in with my CK1, this is a super perfect flesh tone concealer. I'm going to go ahead and again put that on my problem areas and under my eyes as I do have a lot of veins under my eyes that are very visible. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there in those places and then go ahead once again and buff that out very, very carefully. Applying some nude primer by LA Pro Girl. I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my lid. This is perfect because it is a nude color, so it's not gonna give me any additional like sheen or how some primers are like white and they kind of give you that like, I don't know, kind of like shimmery effect. So that's why I'm using that. And then again with my Beauty Blender, it is wet. I'm using that next powder to just brighten the under eye. Then with this Milani Bella Cappuccino, it's the perfect, perfect color. I love this color. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that generously just to my lid. This is the Brown Eye Enhancing Shadow Palette by BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna go ahead and with this darker brown color and I'm going to very lightly just apply that into my crease in the outer corner of my eye just to create a little bit of depth but nothing smoky and nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out really well because this is a make -a no makeup look, but we just want to enhance our natural features. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out really well. And then with this Tarte Showstopper palette, I'm gonna take this gorgeous kind of fleshy neutral color, which I always like to do as a transitional color. And I'm just going to kind of pop that just right over the crease and up to my brow bone just for a little bit of added color and dimension just to brighten up the eyes so they don't look dead per se <laughs> with my eyebrows I'm going in extremely lightly I'm creating an outer line just like on the top so defining the top of the brow and a little bit on the bottom but then that's pretty much it I'm only going in where the hairs are pretty sparse and just lightly putting in some strokes there <laughs> I read somewhere that a more natural look is to brush your eyebrow hairs upward, like a more natural youthful look, so that's what I've been doing lately. And then with this NYX Wonder Pencil, it's a gorgeous creamy fleshy color. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the inner waterline, <laughs> right there, um, just for a little bit of brightening and eye opening. And then a tiny bit of bronzer to my cheeks just to give my colors or my skin some warmth but nothing unnatural of course or like extremely unnatural <laughs> and then a little tiny bit of highlighting just so we look a little bit dewy and just fresh we want the skin to look fresh i've really been loving this wet wild 
um, blush in rose champagne because it's very subtle but it gives you just the perfect color in your cheeks just to kind of brighten you up so I've been really loving this like all the time so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in a light layer of mascara bringing my eyelashes kind of outward just to elongate the almond shape of my eyes And just to bring some life back into my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Italia Deluxe in Barely Beige. It's for me the perfect color because it is kind of a natural color. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and line my lips. These right here are not the result of chapped lips, they're actually scars, so no big deal, just ignore them. And I'm gonna go ahead with my favorite NYX Creamy Matte Lipstick in Stockholm and apply that just to the bottom lip and then just work it on the top lip. And that's it, that completes this makeup no makeup look. I just wanted it to be something that maybe you could relate to if you don't like to wear a super glam look every single day. Um, but again, just enhancing your natural beautiful features. It's okay to go relatively bare and still be confident so until next time i hope you guys have a good day or good night whatever is wherever you are and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye